yes, you've probably noticed it's pretty windy. Uh, you can't see it, but you can probably pick it up in the background. And I thought, how? what is the best way to show the wind? You, know, you can't really see it. I could show you people staggering uh, or, or struggling uh, against the wind on their bicycles. I might do that later on. But right now I'm out on my spot, or one of my spots on the Ain Promenade at the end of it. And I think the best way to look at the wind or notice the wind is to look at the water. So that's what we're doing. You're seeing nothing but a, a slow motion version of what's happening as the wind pushes the water back and forth and back and forth. And it's as if it's this liquid mountain range that is constantly changing, uh, an accelerated version of what has happened to the planet, I suppose. Anyway, yes, even though we're watching in slow motion, I'm having to shout because of the wind, which makes it a bit funny. Anyway, enjoy it. Look at the bubbles, look at the foam. There's a bit of a rock here. It's got this, um, what would you call that? Gray-green color, I suppose. And uh, yeah, there's nothing specific about that. This is sort of almost all rivers have some variation of this color. However, um, let me think, uh, River Niger in Nigeria, sometimes, depending on the season, does have a lot of red in it, or can have quite a bit of orangey red in it. And the Tiber in Rome, I hope it's the Tiber, has this incredible green. I've seen it a couple of times at different periods, always between spring and summer, so I don't know what it's like in the winter. But it does have an interesting green. Right now, the eye that you're looking at just has this, and uh, its color changes as the sun pops out between the occasional cloud. So, um, yeah, well, enjoy the water, think deeply, uh, uh, let it hypnotize you and take you somewhere else, and with that crazy gust of wind, I will see you next time.